Morning guys, our next project of the day is to change out our impellers for our Merc Cruiser 6.2s on this Meridian Sport Bridge. We'll be using these Quicksilver impeller kits which comes with both the impeller and a replacement o-ring for the cover. First up you're going to want to close the through hulls for the engine strainers so you don't flood the boat when you open up the cover. Right down in the engine room. The raw water pump is mounted on the front of the engine. Right behind this pulley, there's a housing there that's tough to get to. And first, you're going to need to release the tension on this uh, drive belt here. That's done by this tension pulley right here where you can loosen the outer nut and then turn the inner nut and it moves this tension pulley down and it gets the pressure off of this. Now just remember the routing of the uh, belt because if you do lose it, if it falls off, you want to know how to put it back on. So it's a good idea to take a picture of it. Alright, we have a 5 8 deep socket wrench here. We're just going to loosen this. Here we go, it's quite tight. And you see, as soon as you loosen that, off. Probably a good time to replace your belt if it's in bad shape. You want to inspect your belt and uh, make sure there's no cracks in it. This one's in good shape. So we're going to keep using it. Alright, to get the pump housing off, we're going to, there's some various bolts need to come off and then the whole pump could pull off with the impeller. So you got a bolt up here on the top and then over here, this is the back side of the bolts. They were actually on the other side of the pump. Tough to get to. You can see the other bolts. You need to get all those bolts out, and then the entire housing will slide forward with the impeller. And uh, you do that instead of taking the bracket off or taking any of the hoses off, which saves us some time. So let's give that a shot. You can reach the other ones around the back. Another method to replace the impeller is to take the bolts off of the bracket to the pump housing and then also disconnect all the hoses from the pump and just pull the entire housing assembly out and uh, change it then. But uh, I just found it might be easier by pulling the, the bolts out and leaving the hoses that are very tough to get to um, intact. So I just had to deal with the small bolts. And all right, we got the bolts off of the pump for that hold it to the bracket. There's two here, one in there. So once you drop those, the whole pump falls down, but you want to support it. So I have a couple bun no, I have a bungee cord holding it up because you have all these purge lines that you don't want to stretch out and break. And I didn't feel like disconnecting them. Uh, that's when you're winterizing the engine. That's what that device there is, that cylinder looking thing with the white and green hoses going to it. And there's also a drain hose up top. So uh, that's used That's uh, used to winterize, flush the engine out, get all the uh, raw water out for winterization purposes. Um, so I just don't want to connect all those and deal with it. So I'm just hanging that up and I'm going to get the rest of these bolts off this pump. And yeah, once I crack that last bolt open, the water started leaking out, and that's why you want to make sure your through hole is closed. All right, there's the pump. Got the last of the bolts. You can see there's six bolts holding this in. They're very difficult to get to. I don't know why they had them facing towards the stern of the boat and not forward. Is our impeller? Doesn't look too bad. Let's pull it out and see how it is. Here's your roll ring. Which looks in pretty good shape. Pulling this out is a little difficult. Let's see how we can do. Go. It's actually 
actually in pretty good shape. There's no cuts, no tears. You easily could have got another season out of that. So that's three years. Not too bad. You check inside the pump housing, make sure it's in good shape. No deep scoring. These pumps are pretty expensive if you have to replace the whole housing. All right, here's the new impeller compared to the old. You can see how the old is just a little bit deformed, but that's normal. It's always bent like that. So this is what makes it very difficult to get the square peg in the round hole, <laughs> so to speak. So I'm going to use some dish detergent to lubricate everything up a little bit. This helps it get in the pump housing and also when you first start it you're dry starting it so you don't want to damage the rubber impeller and burn it out so this the soap acts as a lubricant makes it easier to get on now there's a key way you need to match up this here so I'm pushing in as I'm turning the pump housing itself we go. Not too bad. Now there's been a lot of debate on whether you should put your impeller in the correct way, the correct rotation of the housing so that the veins flop in the right direction. And some say it doesn't matter because if you put it the wrong way they'll just flop around the other way. So here the veins are pointed in the counterclockwise direction and if the engine was rotating the other way watch what happens all the veins just flop over so at least on this impeller system on a Mercruiser 6.2 it doesn't matter which direction you put those veins because as you can see they just flop around in the direction they need to go. Let's put some more soap in there just to help with lubrication. Also the O-ring will help it stay in there. too badly scored. This has got some grooves in it. If it starts getting really bad you're going to want to replace this whole pump because that might keep some of the water from flowing. You remember you got two different size screws. You got the long screws that hold the pump to the bracket and the short one that holds the pump cover on. So this one and this one get the long bolts this, 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 and this are the short bolts. I found that putting the shorter bolts on first to get the cover secured gives you a little more play with the pump and you can move it around before securing it with the longer bolts to the bracket. bolts tight and we're going to put this belt back on all right looks like we're all lined up here make sure the belt gets in the grooves where it needs to and that it's centered on the pulleys now let's tension it up to tension the pulley, we're going to use two wrenches. I don't have an open end 
or box wrench that fits on this inner nut so I'm just going to use this temporarily so you use a smaller wrench to turn this and tension the pulley and then you use a wrench on the inside nut some final checks and then open up the through hole and check for leaks. Three point two. All right, we're looking good. So let's go down below and check for leaks. jobs working on the engine for the boat it's just bad design it's uh, not conducive for working down there there's not a lot of room um, the next pump on the starboard engine should be interesting because there's even less room I have to crawl all the way in there to get to it so I'm not looking forward to that but um, so that's it that's the impeller change out on a 6.2 Merc Cruiser on a 2006 341 Meridian thanks for watching Good luck with your projects. I'll see you next time.